Hey everyone, Itai Manero here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to paint this turtle with watercolors in Procreate. So let's jump right into it. This is going to be a three-part series, where each week I will be using a different technique. In this video we are going to be painting this turtle with watercolors, in the next one with oils, and in the last one with pastels. In order to achieve this, I'm going to be using my new bundle called the Fine Art Mega Bundle for Procreate. This awesome package contains the watercolor experience, the thick paint, and the epic pastels brush sets for Procreate, and it will save you 33% over the total price if you would get these three sets individually. If you're only interested on the watercolor brushes, you can also get the watercolor experience set individually, or even download a free mini version for you to try out. You can find the link in the top right corner of this video, or in the description below. For this painting, I'm using this incredible photo reference by Wexer TMG. I will leave a link in the description as well, in case you want to follow along. Since I'm going to be painting this turtle three times, I'm going to focus first on doing a good sketch that I can use as a base for the three paintings. For this purpose I'm using the grainy pencil brush included with my watercolor set. I'm blocking out the general shapes first, looking for the right proportions and gesture of this beautiful animal. As you can see, at this stage I'm not afraid of changing things up, if I feel they aren't right and I don't start adding details until I feel the general shapes and pose are correct. Once I have the basic pencil sketch, I'm going to add a watercolor paper texture from the ones that are included with this set. This paper texture needs to be placed on a layer on top of everything else, and it needs to be set to multiply mode. This will make my drawing show through the paper. Then I lower the opacity of my layer, and using the bleeding pen brush, I'm going to draw a loose ink version of the turtle. I really like loose watercolor, so that's the style I'm going for. In that regard, I'm not trying to ink my sketch perfectly. My hand is pretty loose when I draw my lines, and I don't mind if they don't look perfect as long as the subject as a whole looks good. I'm also taking my time to add some extra details that weren't in my sketch, like the skin folds in the neck, or the details in the facial features. With the inks finished, I'm now drawing the silhouette of the whole figure on a layer below, so that I can mask it and separate it from the background. I'm doing it with this color, just so that it is easier to see what I'm doing, but once the whole figure is masked, I'm coloring it white, to recover the white from the paper. Then I'm going to take care of the background before painting the turtle. I want this background to look very realistic in terms of watercolor. So I'm going to import a few real watercolor stamps from the ones that are included with this set. I'm trying to position them in a way that looks pleasing to the eyes in relation with the turtle. Then I'm using one of the watercolor brushes with the smudge tool to blend between the stamps so that they look more unified. I'm also adding a few watercolor drops using some of the watercolor splatter brushes. Once I'm happy with that, I'm using the gradient maps tool to change the colors of the stamps so that the blue is more similar to the one in the reference. With the background finished, it's time to paint the turtle. Using the super loose brush, I'm starting to add soft touches of color in the head, the neck, and the rest of the body. I'm 
and trying to build up the variety of pretty colors that this turtle has all over, really trying to capture those beautiful color shiftings that the light underwater is creating, adding all sort of greens and blues, along with the browns and whites in the skin of the animal. I thought it would be useful to separate the shell from the rest of the body using a separate layer. I'm playing with adding little touches with this brush to create this sort of texture made out of colorful spots. I'm also adding some of the watercolor splatter brushes to simulate the texture in the shell. Here I'm using the selection tool to isolate the lines in the shell, and then with the alpha locked in the layer, I'm coloring these lines white to match what I'm seeing in the reference. Now I create a new layer that I'm turning into a clipping mask over the turtle's body, and in this layer I'm painting the dark parts on the legs. Then I create a mask on this layer, and using the bleeding pen brush with black, I can erase these lines to reveal the colors underneath. This is the same concept as peeling off a masking fluid with real watercolors on paper. I'm repeating the same process with the rear legs, and in a moment I'll do the same with the head. Using some of the splatter brushes, I'm adding a bit more texture in the belly area and in the legs. I'm also using the super loose brush to continue giving color and even blending it in some areas. From here I'm just switching between the super loose, the bleeding pen and the splatter brushes to define and add the final details. And this is the final result. I really hope you liked this video. Don't miss next week's tutorial, where I will be painting this very same turtle with oils in Procreate. If you use my brushes and post your art on social media, feel free to use the hashtag ManeroBrushes so that I can see what you create. I will be extremely happy to share your creations with my audience. Don't forget to subscribe for more art related videos and give me a thumbs up. Also, make sure to check out my Gumroad page, where you will find the Fine Art Mega Bundle for Procreate, and many other sets and freebies that I have available. I'm sure something will suit your artistic needs. All the links are in the description below. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.